Hello grade 10 students! Tuloy natin yung pag-aaral natin about measures of position. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa deciles of group data. Katatapos lang, teacher B na gumawa ng quartiles for our group data. So, pwede nyo i-check yun sa ating comment section kung hindi nyo pa alam kung paano i-compute ang quartiles of group data. Pero ngayon, punta na tayo sa deciles at almost the same lang naman din yung steps or process na gagawin natin dito. Okay, so let's begin. Ang ating learning targets is we're going to illustrate deciles of group data and compute for deciles of group data. Now, recall lang natin ang ibig sabihin ng deciles. Deciles are the nine score values that divide the distribution into ten equal parts. It can be observed that the fifth decile is also the middle of the set of data. So, sa quartiles, hinahati niya yung ating distribution into four equal parts. In decile, hinahati niya into 10 equal parts. Ngayon, paano tayo magsosolve ng decile of group data? So, almost the same lang siya ng quartiles. Anong pinagkaiba? Quartiles over 4. Diba? K and over 4. Kasi yung quartiles, hinahati niya into 4 equal parts yung distribution natin. Ang decile, hinahati niya into 10 equal parts. Kaya, K and over 10. Yun lang naman yung nagbago. So, where LB is the lower boundary of the nth decile class, N is the total frequency, yung CFB, cumulative frequency of the class before the nth decile class, then yung F is the frequency of the nth decile class, then I is the size of the class interval, and K is the nth decile, where N is equal to 1, 2, 3, hanggang 9. So, Magpakita tayo ng sample. So, calculate the 7th decile of the mathematics test scores of 50 students. So, ang kukunin natin is yung 7th decile. So, first na gagawin natin is we're going to add one column for the less than cumulative frequency. Mahalaga kasi na meron tayong CF or less than cumulative frequency sa data natin. So, para magawa yun, Punta lang kayo sa dulo na ating yung frequency. So, mag-add ka lang na another column. Punta ka sa dulo. Mag-start ka sa bottom part. Yun yung lalagyan mo ng 2. Then, 2. I-add mo yung kasunod niya dito sa frequency. 2 plus 6, that is 8. 8 plus 10, that is 18. 18 plus 8, that is 26. 26 plus 12, that is 38. 38 plus 8, 46. 46 plus 3, 49. Plus 1, 50. So, yan na yung ating cumulative frequency. 2, 8, 18, 26, 38, 46, 49, and 50. Then, yung lower boundary para makuha natin, mag-subtract lang tayo ng 0.5 sa ating lower limits. Okay, doon sa mga first scores na nakita natin, bawasan mo yun ng 0.5, yun yung lower boundary. Ang ating interval is 5 kasi 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, lima yan. Okay, ang N is 50. Pag in mo tong frequency, 50 yan. Kaya nga yung cumulative frequency natin, sa dulo, dapat 50 rin. Okay, so dapat equal yung N at saka yung first dito sa ating cumulative frequency. So, dahil meron na tayo ng mga kailangan natin, let's find the position of the 7th decile class using the formula KN over 10. Okay, again, over 10 kasi decile. So, 7 n over 10. So, 7 yung k natin kasi 7 decile lang hinahanap. 7 times 50. Then, divide natin sa 10. The answer is 35. <clears throat> this means we need to find the class interval where the 35th score is contained. So, pupunta tayo or titingin tayo sa less than cumulative frequency column. Doon tayo titingin. Saan papasok ang 35? So, hindi naman pwede dito sa 26 hindi rin pwede sa 46. So, papasok siya dito sa 38. So, ito yung ating 7th decile class. At ito yung magiging reference natin para sa mga unknown values ng ating gagamitan sa ating formula. Now, tignan natin yung lower boundary niya. Ang lower boundary is 34.5. Yung cumulative frequency below, titingin tayo hindi sa cumulative frequency na 38, kundi yung nasa ibaba niya. So, ang nasa ibaba niya is 26. Then, yung frequency na ating 7th decile class is 12. And yung ating interval is 5. Then, let's substitute it to the formula. So, we, we have 34.5 plus yung ating kn over 10. Anong na-compute natin kanina? 35. So, 35 minus 26 over 12. Then, i-times natin sa 5. Unahin natin ang nasa loob ng parentheses. 35 minus 26, that is 9. 
Then, divide natin sa 12. Next, so 9 times 5, or 9 over 12, tinimes lang natin sa 5, naging 45 over 12. Then, 45, divide natin sa 12, that is 3.75. Sakuha na natin yung answer dito, saka natin i-add dito sa ating lower boundary, which is 34.5. 34.5 plus 3.75, the answer is 38.25. So, punta na tayo sa last step and that is interpretation. We're going to interpret yung nakuha natin decile. So, 7th decile is equal to 38.25. So, pag 7th decile, ibig sabihin 70%. 70% of the students got a score less than or equal to 38.25. So, what if pinapahanap naman sa atin yung 9th decile? Kunin natin yung formula na KN over 10. So, ang K natin is 9. 9N over 10. So, 9 times 50, then divide sa 10, that is 45. Then, this means we need to find the class interval where the 45th score is contained. Pupunta tayo or titingin tayo sa less than cumulative frequency column. Saan papasok ang 45? So, pasok siya rito sa 46. Then, since ito na yung ating magiging reference, pwede na natin makuha yung mga unknown or may kailangan natin sa ating formula. So, ang lower boundary natin is 39.5, yung cumulative frequency below, na ating ninth decile class is 38. Again, hindi yung 46, ang kukunin natin, kundi yung nasa ibaba niya. So, that is 38. Then, yung ating frequency na ating ninth decile class is 8. Pagkatapos, ang ating interval is 5. Pwede na natin i-substitute sa ating formula. So, ang ating lower boundary is 39.5. Pagkatapos, 45. Saan galing yung 45? Yung na-compute natin kanina na KN over 10. So, 9 times 50 divided by 10. So, that is 45. Minus yung cumulative frequency below is 38, then over yung ating frequency, 8, then multiply natin sa interval, which is 5. So, 45 minus 38, that is 7, over 8. Then, it times natin sa 5. We have 35 over 8. So, kunin muna natin yung decimal niya. 35 divided by 8 is 4.375. Then, i-add natin sa 39.5, or yung ating lower boundary. So, ang ninth decile natin is 43.8. 75 or pwede kung gusto ng teacher ninyo na 2 decimal places lang, pwede nyo sabihin na 43.88. Okay? Alright, so punta na tayo sa interpretation. So since nakuha na natin yung 9th decile, 9th decile means 90% of the students below. So 90% of the students got a score less than or equal to 43.87. Uh, so tignan lang natin. Let's do the wrap up. So, for the decimals of group data, ito yung tatandaan natin yung formula. So, yung LB is the lower boundary, yung N, total frequency, then yung cumulative frequency below, ah, below of the nth decile class. Okay, tapos yung frequency, yung size, and yung nth decile natin, it's either 1 hanggang 9. So, yun lang ang tatandaan natin. And again, maging maingat sa pagsusolve and pagcompute kasi isang mali mo lang dito, mali na yung magiging answer mo. Okay? So, lagi tayong mag-iingat. Alright, so I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video ni Teacher B ngayon. At kung may natutunan ka, huwag mo kalimutan mag-iwan ng comment sa baba at mag-like and mag-share para lalo pang dumami ang mga students na katulad mo na nagmamahal sa mathematics. Don't forget to follow me also on my Facebook page, VTeach Channel. See you again sa susunod. Goodbye!